Remainers and Leavers are reeling. The Speaker of the Commons has called it a constitutional outrage. And Jeremy Corbyn has demanded a meeting with the Queen, as it was, of course, Her Majesty who gave the Prime Minister her seal of approval to suspend Parliament. But after that crucial meeting in Balmoral yesterday, the leader of the Commons said there was nothing to worry about. <laughs> so they wouldn't know what they were talking about. Normal functioning of our constitution. And that function isn't going to go ahead without further resistance. A petition against the suspension has already gathered more than a million signatures and is increasing by around a thousand every minute. What we do need to do is to unite against a no-deal Brexit. And that's what I think Parliament has finally found, that consensus. Uh, and that's why it's important that it's able to express that and to move next week, as surely we will, to try and stop the government by a legislative process. Fellow Labour MP Clive Lewis says he and other colleagues will remain in Parliament regardless and will call on the police to help them defend democracy. But some believe prorogation won't mean the end of a constitutional government. And we are facing no deal on the 31st of October and we know that Parliament isn't very happy about that. So politically, it's controversial, and politically, it does matter. But I don't think it's as far we can go as far as to say it's a constitutional crisis, at least not at this stage. The thought of a no-deal Brexit isn't just worrying politicians. Health leaders are warning today there could be disruption to the supply of medicine for up to six months to the NHS. For now, though, the focus is to deal with the job in hand of trying to deliver Brexit as Parliament may empty out and the crucial countdown begins. Ranveer Singh, Good Morning Britain.